Hi guys, another art project. Some of you are going to do it on Zoom, but this is a project that if you didn't get it done on Zoom or you're, you're watching it otherwise, that you can do at home. We're going to send it in all of your packets, okay? You're going to get popsicle sticks. You're going to get a half of a plate. You should already have glue. And then we're going to send you a few pieces of probably cut up um, construction paper. So you're going to use whatever color you get. The colors may not be the same. So it is a mushroom. We're going to make a mushroom. Yay! So the very first part of the mushroom we're going to make, we're going to go ahead and color the plate first, just so that we have that done. Okay, so I am going to color. I'm going to put in some pretty little hearts of different colors all over my mushroom cap just like that okay and then i'm gonna go ahead and color it in i'm gonna go ahead and color it in yellow and you can cut it now after you know so it's not forever Okay, so now we have it all colored up. So now we are going to go ahead and make our um, bottom of the mushroom. I should really know what the name of the bottom of the mushroom is. The stem, there you go. I do know the name. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and use, since that's such a big mushroom, I'm going to go ahead and use six of these sticks to do it. Okay, and we are going to come right along here and just put a couple of lines of blue okay just kind of like that make sure every stick has some glue on it now if you're doing this at home you might have some paper underneath you or else do it on a table that you can wipe down really easily and we're just going to set that right on top now that glue and this paper together get it right in the center if you can let's see did i get it you can slide it over a little bit we'll hold all these sticks together while we add some other stuff and you know i'm going to take something and weight that down just a little bit i'm going to take oh i'm going to need my scissors so get, i'm going to take my glue bottle right now and just set it on top just like that so it sits nice and flat right here on the stem we're going to cut just a little piece for a door i'm still putting that there let me turn this so that you can still see what i'm doing there okay but that's weighting down so that the glue and the sticks stick together so I'm going to measure so that I don't get it too big. Okay, so. Because the door doesn't take up the whole space, right? A door always has a little bit of wall on each side of it. So let's see, we can measure it. Oh, that takes up the whole space. So I'm going to have to cut it down just a little bit more. Okay. And I'm just going to start here and make a nice, great big U. Now, for some of you, it might be easier to draw that U on there first. So, and what you'd do if you were going to do that is you'd go ahead and just say, oh, this is about the size, and then draw the door, and then cut along those lines. Sometimes that makes it way easier. Okay, so then I have another glue here that I'm going to use, and I, first let me go ahead and put a little doorknob on there. And you know, maybe we'll make it look like it has a little window in the door, huh? Just like that. Okay. And we are going to glue that on there. So we're making like a nice make-believe mouse house or something. Okay. There we go. And then I believe that the example that I saw had little windows up here so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna just cut a little more of my paper like that and I can cut one and then another one a little like that I'm gonna turn them over where I don't have the pink lines anymore and take the purple and make little window panes sort of like a nice tea Okay, a little T, right like that. 
And then we're just going to put a dab of glue. Now, if you have a glue stick, you could use a glue stick also. If you have glue glue, just open it just enough that you get a little glue out. Not that it comes pouring out, because if it comes pouring out, then it makes a big mess everywhere. One. And. Two. Okay, there we go. We got two windows and a door. Now, once it all dries, for those of you who are really, really creative, you could take a little bit of green marker and mark on up there and make some leaves and make like a little vine, but it does have to be dry first. So here, let's show you what it looks like all finished. Hope you have some fun. Let me turn it around so you can see it. Thanks for joining me. Have a great time.